Okay, <laughs> I'm filming this on my phone, so please forgive if it's bad quality because I'm doing 24 hour readathon today. <laughs> since February because I really want to read this book um so I'm going to read it for this readathon and I plan on doing it in March but then I was like thinking about it I was like well I can't do it because it's March because of this reason but then I was like well let's do it in April but then yesterday I was like no I want to do it tomorrow so here we are so um yes we're doing a readathon uh, these are the two books I want to read in these 24 hours. My main focus is Kingdom of Exiles by Maximum M. Martinu. Um, I got this book at Barnes & Noble and the cover isn't the cutest thing, but it sounds so good and I really want to read it. So I've been wanting to save it for a 24 hour readathon and so here we are. Um, I'm going to start reading now because it's 10 o'clock and I plan on starting at 9 but now we're going to start at 10. So 10 today until 10 tomorrow. I'm quickly going to throw some videos in my editing software right here and then edit them real quick and then I'm going to start reading. So I'll pick back up later but it's currently hour one and I'm going to read. <laughs> So it is 11.04 and I'm on page 36. Yeah, I was like, if you read 100 pages an hour, you'll be able to finish this in 5 hours. Um, I didn't even read 50, so we're doing great. But yeah, so far, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, hour 2 this readathon, I'm not even 50 pages through this book, but I'm enjoying it so far. I love assassins. I have an addiction to assassins, like any assassins. I love them fake ones not real ones but um yeah enjoying it so far i like knock a lot more than i like lena which is like something i think I ha happens a lot like i like the male perspective better than the female perspective so yeah but but yeah three and i think i'm already failing my own readathon <laughs> okay i look bad still mm. but if i'm gonna do right there okay Yes, like I said, it's 12.05 now, and this book, you're like, how, how, how much did you read? Um, like, three pages? Yeah. Um, I'm on page 40, chapter 4, which is, like, satisfying. 44. Ah, beautiful. But, um, I decided since The Sims is having a sale, I would buy... $60 worth of sim stuff so I did that and then I was working on uploading videos for my channel my my the gaming channel which is linked in the description box so I haven't read like anything more in like the past hour but I'm gonna read again hour three we're getting back on it hopefully okay, we're back on my phone horrible quality but here we are so it's almost one o'clock like two minutes till one so I'm just gonna do my hour four update i'm on page 60 um and i'm on chapter six okay this is really satisfying to me but um i get to read from ozius uh never said his name out loud and it sounds weird but i get to read from his point of view yes um i really like this book so far and i really like the big characters like they're really funny and i like them and um page 60 chapter six one o'clock let's go so it's almost two o'clock which means it's our whatever i have on the screen i forgot what last hour was and now i can't think because i just can't so i don't know what hour it is but yes here i am i'm on page 90 also known as sister nine this makes me so satisfied every time I see it. It's like 99. It's like happened multiple times and it's very satisfying. But I'm liking this book, but it's almost two and I'm going to go work out. So probably not going to be reading anything during whatever hour this is. I can't think of what this hour is, but you know. Yeah, next hour, which will be 3 o'clock, is probably when I'll read, and it might not be till 3.30. So, we'll just have to see. But, um, I'm not very good at 24 hour readathons, apparently. I thought I read faster than I do, and I don't. So, 
the same shirt I had on before, but I've showered and worked out, and it's almost 4 o'clock, and I haven't read anything else. But I did watch a booktube video, so priorities. But yes, I haven't read anything else in this book. I'm going to read for 10 minutes, and I don't know if anything's really going to event we're gonna happen in those 10 minutes but I guess we'll see um yeah and my hair I just showered but you know maybe next time you'll see me I'll actually look decent for the first time in this readathon because I haven't since haven't yet I might never look decent in this video because that's who I am I think this is hour six and I just reached 100 pages whoop, whoop. I don't know why I'm reading so slow because I'm really enjoying this book. Maybe the words, like there's more words on a page. I don't know, it's taking me six hours to get to 100 pages. That's weird. Um, but yes, um, they're about, oh, I don't want to say anything though because like this isn't like a spoily vlog. It's just like a 24 hour rhythm vlog, like here you go. But if you read the book, then you know what happens on page 100 and I'm so excited. I do want to say though, the relationship between Nock and Lena is kind of like insta lovey. I don't know if that's just like a thing because like, like um, you know, I think Nock is something, but I can't say what I think he is because again, this isn't a spoilery vlog. But like, they love it. There's like the relationship's kind of insta lovey, but um, I would rather have insta love than have a love triangle. But also, um, I like what's his name, Ozius. I like. Ozias, 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 a little bit better than Nock, but also I love assassins and they're both assassins and my heart is kind of split. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm going to go read because I'm excited for this scene and I just love this book so far. It took me 120 pages to realize that each character has a little illustration when it's their chapter. <sighs> Okay, we're good, but wow, that's all I wanted to say, but I, mm-hmm. Don't spoil anything, but, mm -hmm. basically it's pretty, like, obvious that, um, Nock needs Lena, right? So, um, I'm trying to think, because I want to say this, so, um, wow, look how much progress I made today. Like, a lot of progress, but, like, not for six hours. Um, I just want to say this, that my theory is the thing that Nock is trying to get to undo a curse, because we basically figure out that he has a curse, like, in chapter two or three, because I think he's in, he, he, that's his point of view in both chapters. So, I think the thing he needs to undo the curse is Lena, and that's all I'm going to say, because, um, things are happening, like, you know, yeah, I can't say anything, but, yeah, it's five o'clock, and you're like, what page you on now, and I'm like, uh, 134, <laughs> I don't know why it's happening, um, not, like, what's happening with the book, but, like, why it's taking me so long to read this book. Like, I'm okay with that, because I'm really enjoying it. But now I have documented proof that I, I don't know. Um, I'm on chapter 12, and sadly, they aren't lining up with the numbers anymore. Like, I should be, like, on, um, well, technically, you know, it doesn't really matter. But, like, I would like for it to get back to the whole... Chapter 12, 120. Or well, chapter 13, 130. Like, that's... It's nice. And, like, it's not my fit right now. And I don't know what I'm saying. It's 5 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. I like this book, but I'm reading it really slowly, and I don't know why, but we're about to get Coast's... Coast's point of view, and I'm excited. Ah! I like this book so much. I like it a lot. And so far, it's living up to the hype. And I like it. So, I'm going to read. I'll see you guys at 6. Update. Coast's chapter was adorable. Um, the pet. The animals in this book. If any of them die, I swear on my life. Um, it was cute. Okay. I'm gonna go back to reading. She just summoned like a little baby wolf. Am I weak? This? Oh my god. <gasps> and it's so cute. <laughs> it says still a cubby tripped over his two big paws as he barreled toward me, dying while he'd have to say. Ah! <sighs>
I love this book. I really do. This is like a great part of my day. <laughs> so, it is 6 o'clock, and that is our whatever it is, because I did the math at like 4, and I forgot the math. Maybe it's hour 8. I really can't tell you, but I'm on page 160, chapter 15. I love this book. Um, I am praying that it doesn't go wrong in the next half. I mean, I'm still a little, little bit away from half of this book, but you know. I'm hoping it doesn't go wrong, because, like, right now, if it ended right now, I'd give it five stars. I just love this book. I love, I love this book, and I don't want to talk about it, but I love this book, and I'm so excited to get to continue. Um, hey, I might not be reading much in this 24 hours, but I'm enjoying what I'm reading. It's happening! The romance! Oh no! Oh no! It's going down! We get to read from Calm's point of view too. So, okay. Okay. I think he's still getting drunk at a bar, but like, okay. Hour nine, baby! It's 7 o'clock, and I just hit page 200, so if it takes me 9 hours to read 200 pages, and this book is 500 pages, you know, it'll take me 19, 20 hours to read this book. <laughs> anyway, I'm on page 200. Um, actually, I'm on page 202, and a fet, the pets of fet were introduced, and I'm not, they're not my favorite, I like the tender ones, the little wolfy ones the best, but I just like wolves, um, I like poof too, poof is the cutest little thing, okay, okay, my meatloaf just went off, so I'm gonna go eat with my mom, and watch a TV show with her, and then I'll come back. It'll probably be 8 o'clock, so no reading's happening in hour 7. So you know what? It's going to take 21 hours to read this dang book. That's just how it's happening. End up? Nope. Okay. So, it's 8.15, and I just read my chapter in The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. I'm on, I just read day 18. I'm on page 145. I read five pages of this today. I don't like it. Um, so yes, but, uh, more fun. I can't wait to get back into this. I haven't read anything since six, well, since seven o'clock, technically. I ate some food, hung with my mom, I filmed the video, and now there's a mess over, can you get, yeah, you guys can see it. Oh, there's a mess right there, that's, those are some books. Yeah, it's a mess. But, um, I'm gonna read this, because I'm actually in, I actually like this one, so I'm gonna go read. I'll see you guys in the next checkup. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, um, oh my goodness, I can't say anything because then it would spoil stuff. But like, oh my goodness. Because uh, this chapter, I'm on page 216, by the way. This chapter um, was insane. But, like, then a coast had to come over here and hit me with this. And I'm like, mm, no. Ah, mm, and I'm like, ah, you know? Was, ah. <laughs> I'm not forming any functional thoughts right now. I'm just thinking. Um, okay. Because there we go. Nine o'clock. Well, actually, nine eleven. But anyway, I am on chapter twenty-two, page two hundred and thirty-six. Um, eventful scene just went down, and I was screaming like, "Oh no!" 
something, 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 because I don't want to say what I was screaming, because I don't want to spoil this book, because you guys should totally read it. Um, but it was emotional. I may have thought somebody was going to die. Uh, somebody may have died. Maybe somebody didn't die. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. You'd have to read the book to find out. Um, but it's 9 o'clock, and I am... I don't see sleep in my future. So I'm going to continue. Uh, I got to get to... Those, I got to hear Knox's thoughts. So, yeah. Anyway, I hit halfway. Um, yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. I got less than halfway left. It's not really much, because if you put the number and divide it by 2, the halfway mark is like... 231.2, I think is what it was. Um, so, and I'm on page 244. 244. So, look, I'm just a little over halfway, but I'm still over halfway, and a lot of stuff has to happen. I've already talked about it on Snapchat with spoilers, but so much needs to happen. I need to stop vlogging and read, so, you know. I propped my feet up, got my book light, and my water. And it's 10 o'clock and I'm finally getting comfortable. I've sat at my desk this entire day to read. And it's not the most comfortable place to read because um, I have horrible light. I have this lamp right here, but what am I going to do? Like lean forward on my desk all day? No. So you lean back and this light over here produces dim yellow light. Like you can't read with this. So now, 10 p.m., I'm on page 256. I got my book light. I'm ready to get comfortable and read this fantastic book. Hi, it is now nine o'clock on the 22nd. I was not planning on getting up an hour with, with one hour left in the readathon. I was thinking seven o'clock. Um, that did not happen. So, Yeah, I'm tired, but I'm going to continue reading this book, and while well, I might only have one hour left this readathon, and as we've seen, I cannot read 200 pages in an hour. I can't even read 100 pages in an hour. So, we're just going to have to see what happens. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to read now, because it's 8.47, so almost 9. And, yes, hi. So, what is... 10.07, which means it's the end of my 24-hour readathon. And I was reading chapter, so that's why I didn't exactly uh, end right at 10. But here I am. I'm on page 353. I read 353 for this 24-hour readathon. I don't know if I will jump in when I finish the book. I don't think I'm going to finish the book today because I'm actually going to hang out with my mom because I didn't do that yesterday. So, uh, yeah. I may or may not jump back in and tell you my thoughts about this book. Uh, or you might just have to wait until the beginning of May when I do my reading wrap-up for March and April. I am updating you guys because I finished my book. My room is a mess. Okay, so it is 11.56, so like our... 26 is what it technically is but i finished this book i read it in 26 hours um you know because i didn't technically read last night i would have finished it last night too because it's actually not 463 pages like i thought it's 402 pages and then it has um a bestiary in it and it has uh hidden deleted not hidden deleted parts of the book and then it also has like, knock stuff at the end of it. But, I wanted to jump back in and take this quiz, because it says, quiz, what beast will you charm? In Lendria, there are plef a plethora of magical beasts with fantastic powers and unique personalities. And while charmers can catch, catch them all, catch them all, answer the following questions to find out which one would best suit you. So, Question one is, what's your Hogwarts house? Um, I'm technically a Hufflepuff, but I don't like Harry Potter, so... So, first one is a C. What's your favorite Marvel movie? Captain America, First Avenger, Spider-Man Homecoming, Doctor Strange, Deadpool, or Thor? 
Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, Chris Evans is the hottest man I've ever done seen. Seen. So, uh, yes. Captain America. What place appeals to you? A tropical jungle, jungle, a forest, rolling fields with lots of room for activity, sacred ruins somewhere warm with lots of sunshine. E, obviously. Uh, what leisurely activity do you enjoy most? Reading, gardening, sports of any kind, puzzles, sunbathing. Reading. So there's two A's. What What is your greatest a- asset? I'm loyal to my core. I'm a great listener. I'm a caring person who always tries to help. I'm cunning and great at weaving stories. I'm really, really strong. I'm loyal to my core. So there's a third A. What's your greatest weakness? I tend to hold a grudge. I'm not great at understanding shades of gray. I'm not good at taking care of myself. I occasionally like to bend the truth. I'm a bit of a hard, I'm a bit hard headed. Um, A, I hold grudges a lot, but I wouldn't say that's a weakness, but you, you do me wrong. I will never like you again. Uh, what is your greatest fear? Being unworthy in the eyes of someone I care about, misunderstanding someone's intentions and reacting poorly, not being able to help someone who's dying, saying the wrong thing to someone I love, not being there to protect the loved ones. Either A, being unworthy in the eyes of someone I care about, or E, not being there to protect the ones I love. I'm going to go with A. I think I'm going to go with A. What is your favorite color? Black, teal, green, blue, or red? That's not an option. Then we'll go A. Black. Um, so far, A is winning by a way on the slide. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite food? Meat, all the meat, veggies, and literally anything, nuts and fruits, fish. Meatloaf. My mom's meatloaf is my favorite, but I do like fish, so we're going to go with E. Uh, what is your favorite Pokemon? I don't like Pokemon. So why don't we just click, why don't we just do Charizard? Because that's the first one I saw, but. All right, uh, ready for your results. If you mostly picked A, which I did, I have one, two, three, four, five, six A's, one C, and three E's. If you mostly picked A, congrats, you charmed a Marad or a Mayad, a Mayad. Uh, you're brave and fiercely devoted to those you love. Once you deem someone worthy, you'll do anything to keep them safe and happy so long as they return your feelings. That is so true. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm going to rate this because I really, really liked it. Um, and I would give it five stars, but I feel like I shouldn't give it five stars. Just... I don't know, like my gut is saying it's a four star book, but I'm thinking, my mind is saying it's five, my gut is saying it's four, and so I don't know what I'm going to rate it, I'm going to have to sit on it for a while, but, you know, subscribe, like, and comment, and then uh, in May, I will do a reading wrap up of March and April, and this book will actually have a rating in that one, so stick tuned for that. Or follow my Goodreads, because then you'll figure out what I read this before everybody else figures it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, read this book. If you did, and if you take this quiz with me, um, tell me what you are. Are you, I don't know, read the book, get the copy, and yes, I'm going to read the sequel. I cannot wait, but uh, yes, I'm going to go now, because this is a long clip. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all next Monday for another video. Bye, and hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys.